For the next video, in the last lesson, we're going to try and combine not just the good audio that was in that we did in the first lesson and the graphics from the second lesson, combining all three to take a new story from just sort of a mediocre looking video to something that's a little bit more special. So we're going to go from the original video looks something like this. You can see that's uh, really poorly exposed because the background is so light to something that looks like this. You notice the blurry background, which is called a shallow depth of field, which makes a huge difference in the quality or production value of the shot. So in order to do that, though, it's a little bit of faking it out because we're going to be using the chroma key function within iMovie to create that shallow depth of field and then incorporate the keynote functions to bring in those uh, animated titles. So let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that I did create uh, this animated title sequence and I didn't even use magic move for this. I just used the uh, move in transitions or animations for each of these. So if you watch this, it comes in, not just an anvil drop, and then it waits five seconds, and then it exits in the opposite direction. So the red, the white, and then the object itself. So that's the animation. And again, what I did was is I exported this out as a movie. Okay, and so now I have that as a movie. So now if we bring it go into iMovie and I want to recreate this. I can go in and I'm going to create a movie again. Okay, and then I go into my videos. And recently added, it won't be a recently added video, but we will go find it. <laughs> what we're going to drop in first is the blurry background clip. Where is the blurry background clip? Okay, this one. So if we look at this, this is the blurry background clip. Okay, and so what we're doing with this is, is we're going to overlay that green screen clip with the best, better audio on top of that. So I grab that one, and in this one, I say blue green screen and drop it over top. And again, it automatically detects that it was the green color that we wanted eliminated, and so it puts it in automatically. Okay, and if you actually tap on this, you get the options up here to improve that, the strength of the green screen. So I can go this way or I can go this way. And you can see the edge here gets a little sharper. So I can go one way here. You can see that you're getting sort of a fade in of the different colors of the green. But as I bring it up, it gets better and better. So I'm going to leave it about there. Okay. So once you have this clip like this, the next step is actually you're going to have to export this. You're going to have to export this so that they're both combined. So you say this is done and export save video 1080p and you export that movie. Now that movie will come to the top of your most recent videos and what you're going to do is next you're going to bring that video back into a new project. Okay. So once that's done, it's in the library, and now we'll go back to projects, start a new project. Okay. Create another movie, go into videos, recently added, it's the first one. So I add that one in. Okay, go back to the beginning, and now I'm going to find the title sequence, which is right here. And again, I'm going to hit there go to the blue green screen or the green blue screen and again it's going to say which color and tap black and it gets rid of it now and clap okay the completed no. okay uh, so remember the first thing we did with the clip was we improved the audio by using separate audio the next thing we did was we created a keynote graphic In this case it was the lower third third thing we did was we took a blurry background as our base overlaid the green screen clip of the person speaking in this case it's mario got rid of the green so we had that nice shallow depth of field with the blurred background exported it and then brought that clip back in 
and then green screened in the titling. And so all we'd have to do with this is last step would be to save this video and we'd have the completed project. So I hope you hope you understand that if you're using a desktop computer, obviously you could do this as well in multiple layers within the same project. But the fact that you can do this with an iPhone filming and an iPad to edit is phenomenal. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video.